Wong, under Branko Licensed Master Social Worker, and I'm here with Curious Functional Health. Not physically, <laughs> I'm also homebound too, so I know the struggle you are feeling, but we will get through this together, right? Um, so I'm here to talk to you about the topic of social distancing. We are in a world where we are forced to be separate from others, and that is causing so much chaos, so much fear, anxiety, sadness, and that is totally okay to feel those things. We are human beings of nature to be social, right? So it's okay to feel those kind of weird feelings that, that's going on, but know that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, it's just we gotta learn how to adapt a little bit, and we are gonna help you figure that out. So first, let's talk about the definition of social distancing. So definition is to be physical, physically distant between others and isolation is to be separate alone apart from others so sound the same right but they look completely different and the key word is alone so many of us are doing isolating patterns thinking we are in social distance and that is causing a lot of dangerous territory so if you are doing things alone feeling completely alone, most likely we are engaging in isolating patterns. Why is this even important to talk about? It is so important to talk about because if you are isolating or socially distant, these behaviors can cost us our mental health. Depression, anxiety, addiction, these all have in common isolating patterns that many people are familiar with and because they're familiar with it, we're falling back into that, which is causing a risk of falling back into depression, falling to deep anxiety. Um, addiction is a disease of isolation. So many of us can end up having a risk of relapsing. And so this is so important to understand that we can still have social connection while being socially distant. If we fall into isolating patterns, we fall in the risk of negative thinking patterns, we fall into the risk of low self-care, we fall into the risk of low self-esteem, and you know, that is just a struggle to get out of. So we are here to help you figure out ways to still be connected while being socially distant, because it is possible. So with that said, there is still hope in the midst of this non-normalcy, okay? So keep your faith up, keep your hope up, and know that Curious Functional Health is here to help in every single way possible. Thanks.